Okay, hey, today we're going to talk about the fillet and the chamfer command in this tutorial. Alright, so what I have here is an example on the right hand side of our objective. And um, our objective here is to fillet this object um, with half inch radius um, so that the final result looks like this one over here. And then I'm also going to show you how to chamfer that square object um, with these chamfers here which are each a half inch uh, in the horizontal and vertical direction which actually does make a 45 degree chamfer okay alright so let's start with the fillet command and um, I'm gonna just zoom in a little bit here and we're gonna go up to the fillet command up here on the ribbon okay and the first thing that you want to notice um, on the fillet command is what the radius is actually set to. Now if I look at the command line um, and I look over here, I notice that the radius is set to zero. Okay, um, So what I really need is a radius of a half an inch. So in order to change that, um, I need to type in R in the um, where the radius uh, choices in the square brackets. So I'm going to do R enter to tell the computer I need to change the radius. Alright, so now it's asking me to specify the fillet radius, which I'm going to do, which is half inch. So I'll just say 0.5. Okay, now it wants me to select the first line and then select the second line. And you'll notice now I have a half inch radius to fillet. The command also ended. Um, after that was over. So I'm going to right click to restart the command and if you look the computer remembers that my radius was set to 0.5 so it still has that setting so I'm allowed to just continue um, picking the two lines. I'm going to right click to restart the command because it ends each time and I'm going to do another right click and there you have it. Now I've filleted those four corners. Okay. All right, I'm going to do a couple of undos because I'd like to show you how to use chamfer. Okay, now if I zoom out here, I notice that my chamfer is a half inch in each direction. All right, so let's zoom back in. And under the same um, pull down on the ribbon, underneath fillet, there's also chamfer. Okay, so let's pick on chamfer. And what I want to look at with chamfer is the trim back distances, okay? These are the distances that it pulls the line back to draw the chamfer. And what I want is um, a half inch. Now if I look at my command line, I'm noticing that it is already set to a half inch, all right? So I'm able to just come up here and pick the uh, two lines and it trims it back a half inch, trims it back a half inch and draws a line between it to make the chamfer. Okay. Um, again, like the fillet command, I need to right click to restart it. Okay. And I can keep doing that to restart the command and make the chamfers. Okay. Um, if my chamfer distance were something different, now I'm going to do a couple of undos here. Uh, just to show you how to set the distance. So let's start the chamfer command again. And let's say that the um, distance back was 0.75. So again, when I look in the square brackets on the command line, I notice distance is one of the choices. So I'm going to do that, D, Enter. And it asks me the first chamfer distance. Okay, so I want to say 0.75. And it kind of assumes I want 0.75 on the second distance, um, so I can just do an enter there. If I did want something different, I could put something different in, but I'm going to do an enter to accept 0.75. All right, and now I'm going to come back up to the object and just pick the two lines and then right click to restart the command. Okay, each time here I'm having to right click after I chamfer to restart the command. Alright, so there you have um, the chamfer command and the fillet command. And um, I'm just going to throw a dimension on here to show that this is 0.75 in that direction. And it's also 0.75 in this direction. 
Okay, uh, you can explore both of those commands a little deeper where there's other choices um, that can help you chamfer things maybe that are at different angles or um, you may have angles and distances um, and there's a few different ways to do it but anyway I hope if you want take the time to explore those you can look in the help file but these two things should get you started.